So welcome to the Ely Farmers Market. It's 2021 and it's a growing market. We're so excited. We have over 30 vendors tonight and many more to come in the weeks to follow. We go all the way through September 28th, Tuesday nights from five to seven. My name's Karen Hamilton. I am the current board president of the Ely Farmers Market, but I also do the nuts. So my business is called Beyond Nuts. It's an accurate description of both me and what I do. My main product is kettle corn, as you can see. Um, I do uh, I do a bunch of other products, but the farmer markets, it's, it's usually just scaled down to kettle corn. Uh, my kettle corn is a little sweeter, a little saltier than most out there. So you get that extra crunch. So yeah, that, that's pretty much it. I'm the kettle corn guy. So I guess I started brewing like five years ago and I've lived in Minnesota my whole life, so that crowd is betcha booch. Um, usually at markets, I'll have three standard flavors that'll come every week. Um, probably the chaga chai, elderberry, and ginger. And then every week there'll be a rotating flavor. So this week I have lavender. And in the summer, I hope to do more like a blueberry, almond flavors. about 10 years ago and I make uh, pies, fruit pies, silk pies, muffins, and all sorts of breads. Mm. And so I do um, about, two, about two markets. I used to do five and now I scaled back quite a bit. So but it's good. I've been here for five years. Kind of started uh, in 2017 and had no clue what we're doing. It still kind of don't. And this is kind of like where we learned to, how, to, how to do this. You know, all these people I've been, some of them I've been working with for four years, you know, and everyone helps each other out. Like today I helped put up this tent right here. And it's just kind of one of the coolest things in Ely, actually, I think. It's kind of different, kind of random. Amazing vineyards, a lot of hard work goes into doing all of this. And if everyone didn't show up and kind of do it, you know, we wouldn't have it. So we're grateful, we're humbled, and we love what we do. Swing, and each one is a different scent. We have cherry, lemon, and lemongrass. And the other one is, is mango hibiscus. Yes. It's a gorgeous one. My dad started making spoons, and then when he died, we just didn't have enough to. We had too many to keep and not enough to sell. So we started making them and then I've kind of ex expanded out to the, like the bowls and stuff. Maple and birch syrup. And um, we have a uh, regular maple and then we have infused maple syrup. So we have uh, coffee infused with organic coffee beans, jalapenos, cinnamon, we also have vanilla, and then we also have a, a maple birch combination that we do 25% birch and 75% maple. And then we also do the stuff that we forage, like the raspberries, strawberries, um, the rhubarb we have our own, so we have strawberry, rhubarb, blueberry, and raspberry syrups also. Um, we take um, maple syrup and we cook it down, and we make maple sugar with it. And then we also make a meat rub with the maple sugar. All my breads and cookies are baked today. Um, I have four standard breads, cottage cheese dill, raisin pecan, cherry pecan, and my cinnamon bread. The cinnamon bread has cinnamon all the way through the dough with a swirl of brown sugar, and some of it has pecans and some doesn't. I also make a pecan square that's like a slice of pecan pie, and oatmeal cookies with walnuts and either craisins or Ghirardelli chocolate chips. And everything I sell is baked today. If it doesn't sell today, I don't put it in the freezer and bring it back next week as though it's fresh. So my sign says bake fresh today, and that's what it means. My favorite thing about the farmer's market is the sense of community. We have vendors here who have known each other for years, and customers that aren't just from Ely, but they're all around the world, and they come back every year. It's really nice to see the returning customers 
that are excited to shop with us again. I like how everybody comes together and sells their food.